I was invited to give a talk on socio-political impact of the pandemic in the on the people of India by the All India Professional Congress in PCC office Lucknow. There were there I met Professor Chandra, the another course. And he is the secretary of the IPC too. He tells me, Colonel Saab, you may be giving lots of talks, you may be going chief guest here and there, but you tell us what you have done for us. I smile because instantly I may I realize that the professor must be told about the natural laws because we all obey natural laws and he was unaware and he gives me a topic to share my views on this so my friend remember the only thing that works in today's world or have been working earlier and shall always work in future and that is called natural law given enough time natural relationships will develop between two people two businesses institutions or organization just be sure and I am certain that no one can force people to work together you can you will develop uh, between uh, uh, any uh, relationship you can't develop between two people you can't mandate my friend synergy you can't manufacture harmony whether it's behavior of two people or the union of two organizations two institutions or, a, or in any channel of command real or virtual or whatever paid or non-paid voluntary or involuntary no one can also and uh, never order people to change their thinking and behavior the only law applies my friend is the natural law the only natural law which I have uh, witnessed and understood in my life or maybe say in the last five decades of observing people rather uh, observing successful people's effort to become more successful is that is simply that people will do something including changing their behaviors only if, if it can be demonst uh, demonstrated that doing so is in their own best interest as defined by their own values I may be sounding cynical or implying that the only motive in life is self selfishness my friend plenty of people from selfless act of goodness of their own violation every day with no obvious state for that uh, payback to themselves also in order for me to get you to do what I uh, uh, what you I want I have to prove it that doing so will benefit you in some way or the other immediately or some uh, uh, some sometime down later the, the down the road later this is natural law every choice big or smile is single-mindedly uh, driven or a decision where your uh, bottom line thinking is what's in it for me my friend instead of asking what you can what you what you can done for us we must first ask what we have done to others if you want the institution to stronger and run for better or even think of achieving synergy none of us my friend has to apologize for this at all it is the way of the world it's a force that squabbling rivals to bring uh, cooperating if yes drill down deep enough you will find that they are not doing doing it out of uh, some altruism or new find uh, uh, saintliness it's only this only the way each of us can get what 
they want. You see, this all the time in politics where bitter rivals from uh, other uh, from opposition or the other other groups they uh, they sell they agree to support the same legislation because different parts of the bill will benefit their different constituency in a different way. My friend, it's a force at work when people swallow their pride and admit that they were wrong. Hard as it is for many folks to do, they will do it if it is the it is the only way to put the trouble uh, behind them and move on. It's a new reason people will turn down a, a better playing jo paying job because they sense the new situation will not make them happier. They are asking what's in it for them and concluding that they would rather be happier than richer. My friend, my another observation that the successful people have very few reasons to change their behavior and lots of reason to stick with their status quo. Their success has showed them that their positive reinforcements uh, will feel isn't uh, smart enough to continue doing what they have been always done and they should always get the best of it. Their part behavior confirms that the future is equally bright. If I, I don't do this, uh, I've done this before, look how far it's gotten me. So I must repeat it. I should not care a heat or bother for any uh, person's opinion or change myself. Then there is this, after uh, this uh, um, continuous success in their behavior, the second thing they feel comes in immediately is arrogance, the feeling that I can do anything which can develop and bulges like a well exercised muscle of the in successful people actually after an impressive setting of successes then comes there is a protective shell that successful people develop along the time which whispers to them you are right everyone else is wrong how can you talk reason with those people who feels this way then there are heady defense mechanism to overcome for some people telling them the, uh, that, uh, that every, everyone hates the way uh, they do it doesn't make them make a dent at all it doesn't make them any difference they don't care what others think they simply have a belief that everyone else is confused because they have tasted the continued success my friend, most people's resistance to change can be overcome by invoking natural laws. Everyone, even the biggest ego in the room has a hot button that can be pushed and that button is of self-interest. All we have to do is find it. It's not the same thing in all the people. It's different. One good thing I have witnessed, fortunately, success people uh, made it, make it easy to find the button. If you press people to identify the motives behind their self-interest, it actually boils down to four items, my friend. I have spoken earlier. That's money, power, status and popularity. These are the standards payoff for success. It's why we will claw and scratch for a raise of money of course for a promotion that's power for a bigger title an office status it's why so many of us have a burning need to be liked by everyone's popularity my friend the hot button is different for each person and it changes over time but it's still guided by self-interest. My personal uh, coaching 
students or many of the professionals they have money power status and most are popular having achieved these goals they turn to higher level of goals such as leaving a legacy or being an inspiring role model or creating a great institution a company organization if you look for the hot button of self interest my friend it's there i simply say after talking to professor chandras that what i have done to the organization that we all must take around just take a look around the place of uh, we are working or in the congregation we are sitting or your office uh, wherever you are working and ask yourself why you are there what keeps you coming back day in after day if any of big fours money power status personal and popularity or it is something deeper and more subtle that is developed over time my friend if you recognize uh, what is the reason for you are there it is very easier to change and apply uh, to become better and in my experience my friend uh, people only change their ways when what they truly value is threatened and that's a natural nature and that's a nature law and that's uh, that it's our law thank you very much